Uh, but Gato de Fuego is a TO from the north here. Plays Samus. Keeps that TOs uh, are too busy to actually play uh, real characters. We, uh, we have a little too much to do to put effort in. So we play stuff simple. Hello, Josh. Sorry, force of habit. You know, I put my, you know, I put my controller on my computer. Yeah. It, it can crash my computer. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing on there. You gotta put like a steel plate on this yeah, or something. Yeah, something like that. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but really, could crash it. That's unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, okay. We got the Dark Pit coming out versus the Samus. Gotho versus... Bro, I really hope you put this computer like six feet behind a Joltenberry. Behind something at four. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how fa I might just get called in like the next five seconds. Oh, probably. But I want to I wanna make sure I see what's happening here. Don't want to leave you hanging. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Goldenberry runs in with that quick little nair right there. Gets a little bit of damage. Gets a grab afterwards. Gato gets a really okay and approaching up air like that. Gets a second follow up. Yeah, so Battlefield start actually. That's qu that's quite interesting. Yeah, Battlefield you don't see too often. I can yeah. imagine you don't want to go to a longer stage, which in this context I think is really only Pokemon Stadium two, just because you're having to deal with a lot of projectiles coming out from yeah. Gato. Though there is a pretty interesting thing with this matchup, just because uh, Dark Pit has one of I would say the best, most consistent reflectors in this game. Uh huh. So not only are you able to deal with charge shot, but you're also able to largely deal with them also deciding to go for you as well because the pushback on those Guardian Orbitars are pretty crazy. That's yeah. your second reflector and right then, there. Yeah, it, that's a little less consistent, not a really reliable reflector to toss out with the side B. Wow, yeah. that's going to be Oof. a weak bear coming on through, securing that stock. Found it Fuego, racked up a lot of damage right there, but only uh -oh. built up 20 more percent. We got that kill. Oh, rolls in right there, gets caught by the Uppy out of shield. You're going to see that a lot from Gato. Yeah, Gato is a really big fan of playing in this sort of preemptive manner. He really, really wants to make sure that players play in this very particular area of the game, uh, of, this, of spacing specifically between him and the opponent. If they jump, he's always ready for that. If they try yeah. to land on him, he's always ready for that. Now, it's something I've definitely got from playing and talking to Gato and seeing kind of his interactions that, he, yeah, it's very preemptive. A lot of his gameplay is about minimizing risk as much as possible. Uh, oh my like, god! And like, wow, getting caught by a double arrow, not dying just yet, but that's going to be a nair. Not getting back after that, especially burning that double jump, so just might as well secure yourself in that blast on. Ooh, that's the reverse hit on the up tilt. Gato has a ledge trap right now. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. See the little ball into, uh, like I said, mostly charged charge shot. It's going to really hurt there. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of what I imagine we'll be seeing coming out from Goldenberry when she's sitting at the ledge there. That jump charge shot back onto the stage. Really probably one of the strongest options you have. Just to make Gato think again. Gato trying yep. to go for the Zare, going for the grab, thinking about it. Yeah, he's really trying to work around this one now. Yeah, you can double jump at that weird spot right there, but even with like the mines, yeah, you kind of did delay and you mix up your timings a lot more, so it makes it easy for Gato, even for you know burning a resource pretty early like that to make his recovery and his landing up so to not get punished hard by God, uh, by Goldenberry. But oh, what we're seeing right now, he gets a little bit of that Ooh. center stage right there. Ooh, catches Goldenberry on the drop back down with its charge shot right there. Gato secures another stock before Goldenberry does, but again, definitely down, but... Goldenberry ha has the opportunity to rack up. Wow, what an aggressive God. dare return back to stage. Yeah, he's a really big fan of reversals, with especially with that kind of dare. If you see somebody go off, it's it's like, oh, see it. Oh, the weak dare. Yeah. I think catching uh, Gato off guard a little bit there. Yeah, but totally, if Gato sees somebody go off stage for him, he just like activates kernel mode and tries to start going for a going yeah. for a back air, going for a down air, just trying to hit you. Hopefully, send you the other direction. Definitely just wants to retake stage all on his own. Yep. Nice grab. Let's Staying get it. patient. Very safe with uh, a lot of these uh, ledge traps, but I mean, as Samus, even if you play it safe, you're bound to get something. Uh, ooh, down tilt's right there. Uh, a little bit of a missed punish. Ooh, jab one, two, gets the full connection, but sets up a mine. F smash right there. Doesn't catch the roll in just in time, though. Goldberry has the reverse situation now. A little bit of return to neutral. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> okay. Oh, ooh. there's the pivot grab coming out. Massive pivot grab, by the way. I don't know why Dark Pit and Pit have that, but it just covers such a long area, especially too with the rolls. Really, it's interesting the, the mechanics that Pit has in these kinds of situations, how they tend to interact with other characters, having their very specific universal broken stuff. Uh-oh. Down Smash barely sending anywhere. Goldenberry has to get back to stage. This light trap situation, again, is really scary, but charge shot right there. Okay, a little bit of landing there. It's fine. Keep the, the pressure was on. Able to get that up tilt, and Goldenberry wasn't really able to get out of the corner. That down tilt's not going to kill just yet, but it's again, Situation still in Gato's favor. Yeah. Almost had something there. That would have just flipped the entire situation around for 
Golden Berry. I'm getting mixed up because both of their tags have G's oh. in them. All right. Got an opportunity here. Going to try and snipe with the arrow. There we are. That'll do it. Golden Berry turns that situation around and absolutely makes like that one opportunity right there and takes it all the way to secure that one despite having such a massive deficit and being like a being like returning back to stage, getting back like off ledge for like a solid 30 seconds. Yeah. Absolutely. I think something that's really important about Samus is that she is a character that can be super prone to just coming out in the lead very, very quickly. Yeah. Because of how her flow chart tends to work, if someone had given her the time of day or just affording time to let her get a charge shot going or just see what you're all about, she's super down to just take that and immediately cash it out. Because when you're down a stock against a zoner, things can get pretty tricky, especially against a zoner like Samus. Oh, yeah. I mean, the start of that game, uh, Goldenberry was at like 97% yeah. like really quick and then after that like things like slowed down a little bit but Gato was able to secure that stock shortly after oh, did I? just uh Ooh. okay yeah interesting interesting yeah I, I'm mostly talking about the music here I thought I got rid of this one <laughs> you can get rid yeah, of music yeah. by the way I've gotten rid of an, uh, environmental noises no you can't get rid of Pikmin that's my goat Hey, if I had to like adhere to the blacklist entirely, I'd be getting rid of the entire Kingdom Hearts album and the entire Final Fantasy album. You know what? That's valid. Those and the entire Persona album. Copyright issue. <laughs> yeah. I hate I hate Square Enix and also Sega once. Yeah. Uh, but a little bit of inverse of what happened last time. Goldenberry is the one oh, to rack yeah. up 90 quick percent this time. That charge shot, like the early one right there, is not going to couple to a grab, actually. I wonder if Gato just a little dashed right there. Might have cost the extra frames that he needed. Goldenberry, ooh, really sending himself oh, out God. there, but keeps it up. Even though the up air didn't fully connect, was able to get a dash deck afterwards. Yeah, we're seeing Evelyn stay a lot more aggressive in these situations right now. Finally oh. gets knocked off stage at least once. Just bounces off just fine. Gets the shield poke with that down smash. Rolls right through, gets another down smash. Right back to where we were starting about 10 seconds before. Looking for something right now. Doesn't get the dash deck on the neutral getup. Not what we were looking for. There's yeah. another one. Just Man, uh, Goldenberry. living. Really, like, recognizing the weird reversals that are coming up from Gato and giving herself a lot there of space. Like, yeah, just right there. Just spacing off of kind of the reversals that Gato's been really fishing for uh, and was able to get a, a hard punish right there to get that kill. Yeah, absolutely. I think Evelyn, like you're saying, got a lot more aware of how Gato wants to play the disadvantage state, knowing how, aggr or how aggressive Samus can be in these kinds of scenarios. Like, Gato just staying a bit more defensive hard. now. Yeah. Yeah. No, Gato is definitely playing way more reserved, I think. Really trying to like, yeah, get around that once oh. again. That's that weird reversal right there, but the mine's definitely providing a little bit of extra, extra safety right there, guaranteeing that Golden Berry's not going to get a punish on Gato. What we're seeing now, a little bit of neutral. Okay, get a nice little grab. bit of that movement right there. Cancel that into the grab. Yeah, all right. Gato's finally got a situation going right here. <laughs> Getting a lot of damage on that down tilt. Evelyn reading out the dash forward, recognizing it as being a down tilt and coming oh. to neutral get everything perfectly. I'm curious about these. Upward arrows. Like, I know that they can definitely do damage. I think they send out the direction that Pit is facing, but it's kind of surprising how often that she opts to go for it instead of maybe trying to go up and, yeah, there's a dash check right yeah, there. It finally does get it, but I mean, 111% was already built up. Goldenberry certainly secured quite a nice lead right now. That's going to be a down throw. Oh, yeah, DI misses, check. Misses with the DI, but Samus is very heavy, even with that. <laughs> Dude, even with that four read. turns in a row right now for Gato. Up throw. Yeah, back throw is not going to kill. That's not Pit's kill throw. Uh, what are we seeing, though? Oh, uh oh! You don't want to be sitting here. No, this is a lot of opportunity for a lot of percent <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> just go oh, around. Yeah. No, never mind. Yeah, uh, screw your ledge trap. I'm resetting. I'm going to the other side. You can't get there in time. Evelyn knew how bad that was. She's like, all right, I'm out of here. I messed up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Tries to play around it again. Gato Fuego has the ledge trap again. Okay, Goldenberry says I'm gonna hop on this platform and I just run to center. I'm not. I'm yeah. just gonna trust in that. Hey, oh, both these guys are swinging right there. now. Okay. There, there we are. We Finally gets a stock off of 1 to 80. Gato's yeah. been living a really, really long time. I know killing isn't really Pit's forte, but I'm curious if there's any moves that are in his arsenal that Evelyn could maybe use to try and get some more damage going. Yeah. Get a kill a little bit earlier. In a lot of those situations right there, uh, Gato does go for the immediate mine. So I think Goldenberry was just, you know, recognizing that was going to come oh. on through uh, and then just kind of reacting to where Gato's movement went to get that kill. But right now, Gato has the opportunity to secure this stock. Okay, that's going to be a charge shot. I'm not going to kill just yet, but the damage, certainly, it's getting close. Goldenberry still needs to get off this legend. That's a tough task to do against Samus, but gets back with the roll. Ooh. Reverses with the Nair. Now the situation's in her favor. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit of a stutter step right there costs that oh my F God. tilt to come on out. You see how that bomb worked? It just got... It didn't activate on the shield. It activated on the body of Pit. There is a blind spot. You can still hit Pit in that situation, but it just... <laughs> it's super rare to see it happen like that, because that bomb was just in the middle of Pit for the entire time. 
Going to get some damage going, Evelyn. Nope, just going to get ah, hit with the forward smash. Very good awareness from Gato there, though. Yep. Getting the forward smash. Just All right. Oh, that's going to be a close charge shot into an F smash. That's racked up a quick 40%. Gato with that. And getting that up to afterwards, wow, just the damage is really evened out already. Samus is one of those characters where, you know, sometimes that damage really does just, like, surprise you. And also just has the early kill potential as well. Uh, but Golden Fairy just gets that dash grab in right there. Doesn't get the platform uh, extension with anything. Man. I, I really agree with the Nair because it's really good to try and take these situations as you get them, these offstage situations. Ooh, like that, that forward though. air right there. That's just going to take the stock. Set's done. That'll do it. Ooh. Yeah. Got to definitely a little frustrated right there, but it was still good play from both players. I think Evelyn was definitely just getting a lot. Uh, I think, you know, the, the, ad 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 the adaptation that Evelyn uh, was showing uh, towards the end of game one, and then uh, especially at the starting stocks of uh, game two, where it just really secured that like that big lead immediately, gave her a lot more time and uh, yeah. ways to really deal with what Gato was going to change up, and uh, definitely came out to play Damn. towards the end of that stock. Yeah, I don't think Gato ever was super out. I don't think either of these players were ever super out of it. Evelyn, I think, just had more of a deficit to come back from at some point, mm -hmm. which made it look pretty tough, but luckily Pitt's got some pretty good defensive abilities there. You know, having a multi-jump that's pretty short, you're able to whip punish off of that. Yep. Having reflectors, having two reflectors. Yeah, it's just yeah. like, it's always something with Samus players where it's like, it's always like just like in the back of their mind that like, oh, they couldn't, they can't.